Now let's create our book card component. So inside our components, let's create a new folder called book card dot tsx okay first let's import let's import from react native our core components view text image touchable opacity and style sheet okay second let's create our function const book card it's gonna be a functional component that we're gonna return a view for now. Third, let's define the styles. Const styles equals to style sheet dot create. And we're gonna put our styles here. And finally, let's export our component. Export default bug card. Now let's go and render it in home screen. So inside home screen here, let's remove this gold color and let's remove also this text and change this view to be save area view because of iOS. And finally, let's render the book card component. Now let's press save and go and add styling to our book card component. For the design, you don't worry about the design because when you work in a company, the design team, I mean the UI UX designer is going to provide you with the design. So for the design, don't worry about it. But here we can do our design by our own. Okay, so let's add here style. It's going to be equals to styles.container and let's define it down here and what we want to add here we want to add felix direction to be row the background color is gonna be white and we're gonna add a shadow for it we need to add border radius of 10 we need to add padding 10 also and we need to add shadow color to be black and shadow offset for the iOS the width is gonna be 0 and the height is gonna be 2 shadow opacity is gonna be 0.1 shadow radius is gonna be 4 elevation for Android is gonna be 3 and margin is gonna be 10 now let's press save and see in, inside Android and iOS lock. The shadow is up here, but nothing inside it. So let's add something inside it. Let's add the image, for example. So let's go here and add the image section. We're going to define our component for three sections. Image section and details section. Inside this details, we're going to add the author name and the price and also the book name. And finally, we're going to add delete and edit buttons. Okay. So in image section, we're going to use our image component. The source of it is going to be this image here. You can use any image that you want for now. Just get any image from Google or something. I'm going to use this image with this link. Okay. And the style of this image is going to be style styles dot image, or let's make it cover image. Now let's go down here and define the cover image style property. I want my image to be take the height of 120 and the width of 25 of the view look our image appears here and we want to add further radius to be 8 and finally the resize mode to be stretch okay now we've done with the image let's style our details so we're gonna inside the details section we're gonna add a view here we're gonna add the styles to it with the name styles dot 
details container and inside this details container we're gonna add some styling here we're gonna make the felix of it one margin horizontal 10 and margin top 10 as well and inside our details container we're gonna put the three things the title the title of book and the author name and the price of the book so we need to add three texts the first text is gonna be the book name okay and for example let's add it for now so the second text let's just copy this and instead of book name we're gonna add author name and let's make the author name Olivia Wilson from the image here and finally let's also duplicate this and add the price and for example let's make it $25 okay now let's define those styles book name author name I think there's H here author name and the price so let's go for book name and add some styling let's make the font size to be 16 the font weight is gonna be bold the color is gonna be black okay that is for the name of the book second let's define the styles for author name let's make the font size is gonna be 14 the color is gonna be this hex code I think our style is not implemented but why author name I think there's difference here ah look this the styles are case sensitive so this should be a small a now let's press save now look our style is done finally the price so let's add the price styling let's make the font size 16 the font weight bold and finally the color let's make it this hex color 25a and let's press save let's just add some space here between the author name and the price and name of box so let's add margin vertical to be for example three to add some space here now we're done with the title and the author and the price let's add two icons icon for delete and icon for edit so now let's create a new view let's give it a style with styles dot delete edit container and let's go and style this it's gonna be the Felix direction row because we just want the two icons beside together okay and align items in the center now let's go up and to make some styling and to add two patterns so we're gonna use touchable opacity touchable opacity we're gonna use two of them and we're gonna give it the same style it's gonna be like a circle so let's add a style dot circle button okay and now let's just duplicate it and let's go down and define this style here so circle button let's give it height 30 width 30 or the radius half of them to, to make it round background color let's make it gray or this hex code something like gray light gray let's make justify content center and align items center as well to center whatever between okay now let's press save now those are two patterns we just need to add some spaces between them so let's add margin start 10 for example now those are two patterns let's make them 40 not 30 or let's make them 35 and let's increase the border radius to be 20 to make sure those are round so those are two patterns 
okay now finally let's put inside those two buttons our icons so let's open expo icons expo vector icons here let's search for delete we can use this delete here so let's just copy this and paste it here and let's just copy the render of it and paste it here inside the delete so this is, is gonna be the delete we got here an error don't worry we're gonna fix it later and let's add the edit button so edit icon we can use this edit button edit icon here so let's copy this import and add it here and copy the render of it and add it here inside those circles now we got here an error android and ios check the method render of POC card this error appear when of I the icons to solve this error we just need to close our metro and just run nbm install or you can make sure also to delete node modules delete this file here delete it and run npm install and wait until the installation is done and run npm start again after run npm start press i to run ios and press a to run android now the issue is done we just need to but i don't know why our icons is not appear on iOS so let's skip it for now and let's on first change the colors of those icons so let's make that the size is gonna be 20 and the color is gonna be red like this to be like this and the edit button is gonna be 20 as well and the color is gonna be let's choose this hex color to 5a so now that's the edit and delete but i don't know why those icons is not working in on ios let's try to figure out together what's the reason of it for the icons error doesn't appear on ios when i run the app inside our another simulator iphone 16 pro max the icons appear here but it doesn't appear here i don't know why but we can try to delete expo go let's delete it remove the app delete the app like this and now let's try to run i again but first let's close this pro max 14 and let's press i to run it on iphone 16 to see i hope this error don't face you look now it works perfectly I hope you don't face this error because it's something like cache error or or something it's something related to expo not related to our code because it's working on android and other simulators and now it works on iphone 16 okay so make sure sometimes you can face any issues make sure to delete node modules and install them again you can try also to remove the app and then install it again